Hello, my name is Tristan. Today I show you how to use more than one Steam library folder on the same drive. This should fix this problem. And after I'm done explaining, I will talk a little bit about how I found this problem and how I found the solution. Next step is to simply close your Steam application and get your folder ready where you want your new Steam library to be in. And also find the Steam folder where Steam is installed. Scroll up, go into Steam apps. Inside of Steam apps, there's a VDF file called library folders. Right click, open with WordPad because WordPad won't change the formatting. And then you have this document and you have your um, Steam library folder over here. And what you want to do is to put the location, which is e game starter library in this case, here in the right formatting style. If I go inside, the Steam library folder, go into one folder, go properties. Here you have almost the right fo um, formatting style. You can just copy this part. Start a new line here. And this is your second folder because Steam already created one. You tap two times which is not necessary, but looks good. You can simply copy in the folder name. Be careful that you don't accidentally add something because that might cause problems. You need to add an extra backslash here, where already, like you need to make one backslash into two backslashes because it's simply a different style. And that's this, you save it. And next time you open Steam, should work. Just saved it. Let's open Steam. Steam is opened and as you can see all my games are here. That's it. That's all you need to do. You can also check it. Go for settings, downloads, open Steam library folders. And here you can see your default folder with no games inside which is the standard folder. And here's your own folder with all the games installed and you can make it your default folder, basically meaning that every time you download a new game, um, it will be the folder chosen. I can show you. I have this game not downloaded, don't start. And now it will automatically go here and I could also switch the other one, but I don't want to. That's it. So now that I explained to you, I'm also telling you I'm putting the description of what I do in the description of the video. Feel free to ask any question about that. What I want to stress is I did not find the fix for that problem myself. I just googled it and I found this guy on Reddit explaining it and he's also helping out others, which I really like. Um, and I just thought I'd make a video about it for two reasons. It's a simple problem and it's kind of easy to fix and I kind of just want to try out doing some kind of explaining tutorial-ish video and I feel like that could be fun. So big shout out to this guy who actually helped myself out and hopefully a lot of others as well. And I hope it's not a big deal for him that I'm making a video about that because he's helping people. I hope I can help you. Um, I actually found that problem when I moved Steam from my SSD card to my normal HDD card simply because Steam took 40 gigabyte at some point and if you only have like 200 gigabyte of SSD then why not just move it to a different location and then suddenly Steam creates a folder itself and you can't create a second folder and all your 36 games that I had installed, they're gone. So yeah, I went for a solution and made this video. Hope you enjoyed it. 
leave any comments if you have questions or um, you can also comment on the style that I made this tutorial. I'm quite interested in that because it's the first video I'm basically publicly uploading to, to YouTube. And I tried not to talk too much in the beginning because first I have those three minutes of presenting my solution and you know, I got the solution for you so I can talk as much bullshit as I want at the end. See ya.